Resolution never had These doubts on his hand All the things I gotta do Never do what I should I try to find a small town Somewhere in my head Funny how it all keeps in when I'm laying in my bed But maybe if I try a little harder Maybe a little more Maybe if I try I might get what I want What I want I'm still no close to finding anywhere to sleep but riding through that waterfall was a lot of fun. I'm now soaked though. I'm totally drunk. That was like two seconds. That is some serious water. Don't watch this car. He's going to clean himself. <laughs> Check out these guys behind me. They're actually full on washing their car. All the cars in a row. Everywhere I gotta go. And all these shiny screens. Still the moments in between Never time to think This is my morning beverage today uh, Beverage Bev Who says beverage? Drink probably works better doesn't it? I was given it yesterday by some kind guys in a car Maca Power! Gonna need some power in the morning Yeah, that's right uh, I need some power to get out of this tent Because it's cold <laughs> I'm gonna ride on the main road for a bit. I think my road has just run out. Um, hopefully I'll be able to rejoin it at some point, but uh, that's what I'm gonna do. There's a big hard shoulder, but the annoying thing is there's a lot of lorries. Uh, but I'm just gonna have to deal with that. Okay, let's get on to it. I try to find a small town somewhere in my head. quick here. I mean, what did I expect? I want a massive highway. Um, but yeah, this road is just tunnel after tunnel after tunnel. I didn't think it would be so much. The last one was 2,700 meters. This next one coming up is 2,000 meters. I'm getting shattered and it's all uphill. It's a kind of gradual uphill, but it's all uphill. It has been all day. Uh, yeah, I just hope it levels out soon. And I hope these tunnels stop. Um, the cars are seeing me, they can see my backlight, they can see my luminous vest, all's good there. Uh, I feel safe. It's just, yeah, it's just a different road, different way of riding. Oopsie daisy. Uh, just dropped my lens cap down here. <laughs> oh. Luckily I think I can get to it, but it's going to be a bugger to walk up and down this little hillside. If there's a bright side to this, I was filming myself setting up the shot. So I think I filmed myself dropping the lens cap. Um, so there's that. But I need to get down there and get it back. Otherwise this lens is going to get really scratched. Yeah, we got this. Get, we, we, we got this. Right. It wasn't this far, was it? There was a post. I think it's that. Oh! I see it! I see it! It's just there. Get funny.
situation on these signs is getting worse. We got overtaking lane, okay, carriageway, all right, and that's a bad spelling of unicycle lane. So just notice that my wheel's got a puncture. It's a pretty slow one, uh, so I think I'm just going to pump it up as much as I can here, uh, and then ride out until I'm somewhere a bit better, maybe like a cafe or something. Uh, because the other thing is, I don't really have any food, and I'm I'm a bit low on water as well. <laughs> All in all, um, I'm not that well prepared at the moment. Oh well. I think that'll see me a few miles. I'm gonna get on the road. Ah. <laughs> Always going back for the camera. The joy of filming yourself. And the thing is, I'm starving. And I really shouldn't be wasting time filming myself but it's just something that I feel like I have to do. And it's really annoying. <laughs> anyway, I hope these videos are worth it. I hope my hunger is worth your entertainment. So I found somewhere to fix. Come on, boy. The uh, employers are a bit interested, I think. I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be on this road. And turning off my bike is quite unusual. Suddenly, you chase the pin. Bike's fixed, tube is uh, patched. I got some food. It's not the best meal in the world, but it's all they had. It will do me. I got, I got some biscuits as well for the rose. Um, I'm thinking of going 30 miles down to a town called Hitsi, Hutsi. I don't quite know how you say it. 30 miles that way, roughly. Um, and I'm probably gonna stay in a hotel tonight if I can find it. And I'm gonna clean some clothes and charge some stuff. And then it will be two or three days to uh, Kunming. All right, 600 kilometer marker. I'm gonna allow myself two biscuits every 10 kilometers. <laughs> Biscuits are my motivation. 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 Biscuits, 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 biscuits. Biscuits are my motivation. Biscuits, 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 biscuits are my motivation. Biscuits, 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 biscuits are my. No, okay, enough of that. Right. I'm, I'm in the city now. I'm in the Hoitzi city. Uh, I'm searching for a penguin. I'm searching for a hotel. I want to find somewhere near and cheap. And then I want to sleep because I'm knackered. New day. I'm here in White Sea. Oh, well, if that's how you say it, I don't know. Um, I think there's a supermarket around here, but I can't find it. So I'm going to head to the market, which I think is just up this street, and we'll check it out. Yeah. So how do you do? So you, <laughs> so you put that on there, and then move that. Whitey. Yeah. And then you know. How much? See so if it's level. Yeah, it's Is there like notches level. on here? Ah, okay, I see. So I you've got it. dots there. Yeah. Okay. Shishini, thank you very much. That's fun. Do you see the way they were weighing those things? That was interesting. I've never seen that kind of those kind of scales before. I'm not quite sure how accurate they are, but there we are. 
So I got a bunch of fruit and I got some cake as well. Anyway, now I'm gonna have a go at washing these because I've been getting some quite bad saddle sores recently. I think it's because I've washed these for about a week. So I've got these shorts to wash and a bunch of very smelly socks. <laughs> Watch out, this water goes totally brown. This is how I wash my shorts. <laughs> It's just a bit of a touch of my skin that I'm concerned about because that's probably getting these saddle sores. I've been buying uh, baby nappy rash cream to kind of help the sores a bit so I wear that at night and on the days that I have off which seems to help a lot um, but I still have quite bad sores down my crotch area which isn't pleasant. Tell you what, if you think these are disgusting you should wait until I clean these socks Alright, so I didn't realise this when I started it, but this video seems to have turned into me showing you how I wash my clothes. So I'm going to carry on the process. How to dry my clothes. Take a towel, drop it on the floor. You lay it out, you neatly lay out your wet clothes. And here's the clever bit, alright? You then roll it up as tightly as you can to a little sausage. And then you just stand all over it. Last step, you hang him up. A three and a four on the wheel. Just wanted to give you a little update on where Will is um, because we're probably going to meet in Kunming. I think he had a bit of a problem with his front fork. I think it snapped, uh, and he also needs to get out the country and then return. Same thing that I did down to Hong Kong. So. Just looking at his map, he's got a live tracker. Okay, right, so this is Chengdu. Uh, this is Leshan. We cycled together to Leshan here with the big Buddha. Uh, then we split, so Will went this way. He's now here. Uh, I went this way. Doo -doo 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 I'm here. So yeah, it looks like Will's doing all right. Uh, but yeah, he had a bit of a problem and his visa was running out, so he's uh, understandably a bit slower and his route was much longer than mine was. Uh, so it's not a race. <laughs> Even though if it was, I'm winning. <laughs> I'm currently in a place called Hoitsi and plan to ride 210 kilometers in the next 24 hours. That's 130 miles. I've never done that kind of distance before. Hey up, me again. So on this trip, I've frequently been asked, Ed, you know cycling around the world is great and all? But are you doing it for a particular cause? It's funny, you should ask that Santa Hat guy. Yes, I am. I'm raising funds and awareness for the charity School on the Back. The team, based in Somerset, England, manufacture, fill, and distribute little red rucksacks and send them all over the world to children in dire need of learning resources. Every single red rucksack sent out contains exercise books, lines squared and plain, pencils, coloring pencils, pens in a pencil case, a ruler, a math set, a water bottle, a bowl, a plate, and my favorites. A little red spork. The cost to manufacture, fill and deliver one school bag to one child is only £20. So if you can spare the money and would like to support this amazing initiative, please head over to my charity donation page uk.virginmoneygiving.com slash world unicycle tour. The link is in the description. If you enjoy my videos and want to be notified every time I upload a new one, hit that little red subscribe button and if you could share this video it'll help me reach a larger audience to share this message. Cheers, and I'll see you next week for the next installment of Ed Unicycles China. Oh yeah. Oh dear. Biscuits, 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 biscuits are my motivation.